Hi, George Phoebus here. You know me if you follow my blogs and vlogs as a traveler who goes to Italy a lot and last year Spain. Well, these new blogs are going to be on a trip we just made to Scandinavia. We flew through uh, Frankfurt, Germany, and then went to Norway, Sweden, Finland, and Denmark. These show hotels, ways we kept within budget uh, in Scandinavia, and the wonderful things we saw. If you're a budget traveler and you're worried about the cost of going to Scandinavia, we're going to talk about how we kept the average hotel price to $100 a night, and we kept our average daily spending to $100 a day. So if this interests you, watch on. Thank you for watching my blog. We started our trip in Frankfurt, Germany and flew to Oslo, Norway to begin our Scandinavian vacation. Best way to get from the Oslo airport to Oslo Central train station is the fly to get. It's about $12 a person. Oslo has wonderful pedestrian walkways where you can find restaurants and shops. The architecture is beautiful. There's lots of public uh, parks, places to meet friends, have drinks, restaurants. Here I'm in front of a store that shows furs for sale to keep you warm in those cold winter nights. Oslo is on the water and a lot of life revolves around it. The Vikings built their ships here. There's a wonderful Viking museum where you can still see them. Here is an old fort with its cannon still looking through the wall. Rory enjoyed posing with a female guard at the palace. From Oslo, we took a scenic railway over the snow-covered mountains to the city of Bergen. Here, we're boarding the Bergen train on a snowy morning. As we start out, you can see some snow and trees. More snow as we continue up the hills and finally we're above the tree line with lots of snow. Bergen is a wonderful town with fountains and here you can see the mountain that the uh, funicular goes up where you get wonderful views. Bergen has wonderful multicolored houses along the water. Here we are waiting for the funicular ride up. Top of the mountain, beware of trolls, they're everywhere. Here we have a view of a beautiful sunset as we start the funicular ride down. The best way to get from Bergen out to the airport is the light rail. It's fast and inexpensive. From the Bergen airport we flew to Stockholm, Sweden where we took a bus to the central station. From the central station we walked on a pedestrian walkway to our hotel. Stockholm is all about shopping and restaurants. Everything's inside because it does get cold. There are several beautiful cathedrals around Stockholm. Touring on one chilly day, we stopped for some coffee and of course a pastry. The best way to see Stockholm is on the hop-on, hop-off bus. We took the hop-on, hop-off with our suitcases to the Viking Line where we took a cruise on the ship Gabriella to Helsinki. We had a beautiful upgraded room that included breakfast, plenty of space, and the bathroom was clean and spacious for a ship. This was a massive modern ship with many floors. There was entertainment, gambling, and plenty of food. I'm for a selfie with some Prosecco. The dinner was a buffet with all types of treats, from savory to sweet, from Scandinavian delights to everybody else's delight. Next morning, we docked in Helsinki, Finland, very close to our hotel. This is a view of the dock. At the hotel, Rory was very tired, but happy. Finland surprised us. It's a very beautiful country, and Helsinki has wonderful architectures and lots to see. Look at this beautiful architecture of this building. This was on the island we stayed, and this was a Orthodox church where we stayed. 
Here we can see a carnival very close to where the ship docked and some more beautiful architecture everywhere. We took a scenic tour on the number three tram leaving Central Station. You have to validate your ticket on those green lines. It changes to the number two and then at a one station you switch back to the number three. We took a ferry out to Suomenlinna Island uh, where you can see some wonderful historical buildings. We took a train from the central station to the airport to catch a flight to Copenhagen, Denmark. Here's a map of Copenhagen. You can see it's surrounded by water. Danish are serious about their bicycles. Don't get in their way. We're at Norreport uh, Metro Station near our hotel and we're greeted by thousands of bicycles. Here is the central station across the street from Tivoli Amusement Park. Copenhagen has waterways everywhere. Here's the Little Mermaid, which we saw from a boat and then went to it on land. The best way to see all of Copenhagen's landmarks is to take the hop on, hop off. There's three buses and a canal ferry. Wonderful. Taking the blue line to Christiania, you can come to a place called Refn, where they have these containers that are all restaurants and bars. And only cards are taken, no cash. Great food place. This is the Copenhagen Boardwalk. It was built for people to walk and exercise with hills and, and long ramp. Here we're at the Queen's Palace with the cathedral in the background. Well worth a walk around. Rory kept telling me I had an angel with me on my walks around. Visit to the Copenhagen Botanical Gardens is wonderful. It has hills and pathways and beautiful flowers. It's well worth a stop uh, on anybody's travel. Go and meditate, enjoy the walk, just enjoy the company of nature. This is the Rosenborg Castle, which we took a tour of for not a lot of money. Inside are a lot of uh, jewels and beautiful history of this country and city. The Copenhagen uh, Cathedral has a famous statue of Christ and the angel. We went there for Easter Sunday Mass. One day we stopped at a Copenhagen hotspot, Max Burgers, their version of McDonald's. Of course, our burger was vegetarian. Well, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. There will be more coming out uh, on each of the countries and each of the cities um, that we visited. So, if you like it, check below the like button. Check the bell so that you get notified when I put up the new vlogs. And enjoy. And best of all, travel. It's wonderful. Thank you.